Hello everybody and welcome back to the Summer of Code. My name is Niall, I'm part of the team here at TA Scotland and we've got a great uh, micro bit session for you today using Microsoft's Make Code website. So uh, if you haven't seen any of the past sessions, please do go back and watch a few of them. We've had some fantastic times creating step counters, uh, name badges, smiley faces, absolutely everything and if you're a teacher please go back and watch the teacher session it's about 40 minutes or so and covers everything you need to know about micro bits make code make code arcade which is really cool and about the micro bit classroom as well so it's well worth having a look at so without further ado let's jump into today's session so what i'm looking for <laughs> i've lost it there we go if you do not have your device ready please do go ahead and find a device you can use for today's session. Uh, it doesn't matter if you share one between two or if you get your own one. And if you want to use a micro bit, where is my, my one? Here it is here. If you want to use a physical micro bit, then you can. If you don't want to, and you just want to use the, the online version, um, then please feel free to as well. That's not the word I'm thinking of. I can't think of the word though, so we'll roll with that, the online version. Um, yes, yeah, so please head to this web address, makecode.microbit.org, and from there, we're gonna see a page that looks something like this. Okay, so here we are on Microsoft's Make Code website. I'm just gonna make this full screen face, it's a wee bit more zoomed in, okay. And when you scroll down just a little bit, you're gonna notice that we have here coin flipper so i'd like you to please click on coin flipper and you don't have to watch the video you don't have to learn python or javascript we're just going to go straight into block coding so coin flipper blocks okay so let's create a coin flipper uh, program to simulate a real coin toss we'll use icon images to represent a heads or a tails okay so let's hit okay all of your instructions are up at the top. Virtual, that's the word I'm thinking of earlier. Here is our virtual micro bit today. It is blue, it will change um, when you click on this little um, refresh button here. So, oh, we're stuck on blue, there we go. So it's yellow, just like my yellow one here. Okay, so let's start with the on A button pressed. Perfect, we've got it already. We'll put our coin flipping code in here. Grab an if else, so it's green, so it must be in logic. So grab if else block and set it inside the on button A press. So if else, this is us here, because it has if and then the next line has else. Okay, so we're gonna click and we're gonna drag that inside this uh, the mouth of the parent purple block here. Put a uh, pick random true or false, so that's purple, so it must be maths. Okay, into the if as a condition. So here's our condition. If pick random true or false, then, okay. Now remember, if you ever get stuck, you have this little um, help light bulb. I forgot my words today. Light bulb here. So if you do ever need help, then you can go to it from there. Okay. So what's going to happen is the pick random true or false returns a random true or false value, um, which we will use to determine heads or tails. Okay. So let's hit next. If you're page doesn't seem to fit there we go and you can drag it in so now put a show icon block inside both the if and the else okay so show icon so one in here and one in here okay pick images that mean heads and tails well for me heads i'm going to go with smiley face and tails i'm going to go with let's go with I'm gonna go with this one here. It kind of looks like a music note, but I think it looks like an animal or a cat, like the back half of a cat with its tail sticking up and out. So that's what I'm going for here. So pick a random, true or false. Then if it's true, show your smiley face. If it's false, show the tail, okay? You can choose any images that you want, okay? Press the A button in the simulator uh, to give it a time cost. Tails, tails, tails. Let's try that. Why is it always tails? Come on. There we go, heads. We've got a smiley face in there. We're getting some heads as well. Tails, heads, tails, heads, tails, 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 tails. Come on, give me a, there we go. Heads, fantastic. Okay, so there we've got heads and tails. So now we've simulated our Quintos. You can animate the Quintos to add this feeling of suspense. 
place different show icon blocks before the if to show that the coin is flipping. So we're going to put one in here, and we're going to put one in here, okay? And we're going to make these, let's make them, hmm, what could we go for? I like these stars. Okay, great. Okay, and now what we can do is we can click on these. We can pull them out of the way, put the, the smiley face down a wee bit, and we can copy and paste them into Control C, Control V. We'll paste them back into the top bit. So now we've got the exact same. So when we are um, flipping our coin, it will show small circle, big circle, smiley face, or for tails, small circle, big circle, and um, the tail in there. So let's try it. Full screen. A, small circle, big circle, tail. Small circle, big circle, tails. Small circle, big circle, smiley face. Okay, so perfect. If you have a micro bit, connect it to the USB. So there we go, there's a micro bit. So you can download this by hitting download, download it to your micro bit and to transfer your code, or you can just use the online one. I think we're going with the virtual one today for us. And press A button for a flip. Test your luck and guess heads or tails before the tech, before the toss is over. Okay, so let's try that. So I say it's going to be heads. Yes. I say tails. Yes. I say tails. Oh, it was heads that time. Okay, I wonder how many you can get right in a row. We're going to hit done now. And what you can do, if you want to up-level this and make it this that wee bit better or a wee bit harder, is change the on A button, get rid of that, and go for maybe a shake and put all of this into a shake. So now you have to shake your micro bit to get it to pick random. Okay, so let's give it a try. We've got a shake button here because obviously we can't shake the virtual one. Hey, it works. So we can shake our micro bit. Okay. Perfect. So that is how you can make a coin flipper using the micro bit. Hopefully you've learned something new. I'm just going to remove uh, the bit of the, the screen from everybody's view there. Thank you so much for joining us this week. I really do hope that you've learned something new and you've had an amazing time. Uh, please do let us know on Twitter. You'll see my Twitter handle down at the bottom there, teachers only. Um, if you've enjoyed that, please do let us know at TA Scotland or at Nile Ridgeway. Um, I'm trying to think, is there anything else? Go back and watch other videos if you've not done so. Please share them with your with the, the staff and the, your friends at school. And yeah, Hopefully you've had a great time. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you all again soon. I just got to the end of the video and I've still not got the, video, <laughs> the outro. I do this every time. Right. Have a good one, everybody. I'll see you again soon. Cheers. Bye. Bye.